Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Ansel, and today we're going to talk about Batwoman number 16. So we have Kate trying to save her sister after everything that went down with the old helper of her old lover um, in trying to destroy Gotham. It was really cool, it was really interesting, and really evocative of what happens in Batman Year One, uh, the way she defeated this particular evil plot to bring down Gotham on last issue. But there was one plot point uh, still loose, and that is precisely what has to do with Alice, what has to do with Kate's sister. So the issue starts on that particular moment, on Kate trying to save her sister. And it looks like Julia Pennyworth, Julia Pennyworth, has called Batman, and that was the cliffhanger of last issue. Batman is on the scene, and he is determined to bring the villain, in this case, Alice, to justice. Um, no, more than justice, he is determined to bring down the villain, in this case, Alice, to Arkham, to which Kate, which I should say is pretty reasonable. I mean, Batman should know that Arkham is not precisely an efficient establishment, uh, a particularly, uh, I mean, it's not a facility that you, this is the first facility that comes to mind when you think of places that really help its patients, but hey, it's Batman, he's really obsessive about stuff, uh, so we have a confrontation, we have a little war uh, of Batwoman against Batman, um, because of Batwoman's sister, and Basically, nothing much else happened. The issue was just Batwoman escaping from Batman and employing some tactics to keep ahead of him, at least enough, enough to save her sister. Um, and in this particular situation, everything is just an internal struggle, and I really like how the issue handled that. It was an internal struggle of, of for Kate about, hey, what do I prioritize here? Do I prioritize the bat symbol, because I am a bat, I am bat woman, and I have to go against the bat man, the man that make me become bat woman, the man that inspired me to be this particular hero. Um, or do I say my sister? The weight of blood is massive, so we have Kate prioritizing her sister. Uh, and... and and as I was saying, nothing much else ha happens in this issue, but the way that Kate keeps, uh, let's say, suffering from this decision, the decision of putting her family um, above the symbol of, of, of her heroics, it was really well done, and it was really well handled, and it was well written. So I really liked that part. So by the end of the issue, let's say that she wins... But she loses, because she has been put in a, into a position where no matter what happens, the villain wins. It could be in one way, it could be in another way, but the villain wins. So she is kind of left devastated in any way. And I liked how this was designed by the writer. It was a really nice thing. And let's say that Batman says something to her that was really harsh. And that makes me a little worried about the future of Bad Woman. Uh, but I guess we, I, we have to wait because obviously that will get resolved in future issues. So I will only give it three and a half Citizen Kane's out of five. Um, because it was really well done, but as I said, it was um, not much of a plot issue. It didn't really develop things much further uh, from the point that they already were. So, yeah, what do you think of this situation? What do you think of Kate's decision? What do you think of Batman being so strict in here? Uh, comment that below and let me know what your opinion on that point is. And thank you guys a lot for watching. And I guess I will see you the next time.